looking to potentially respond with the Nautilus if they decide to lock that in here. And now with Maha and Max being overextended, you can see the position of the lane. Crash makes his way down to bottom. Yeah, we're going to have the flash forward, but Beyond is around as well. Able to spell shield the Deadly Flourish, and <laughs> no kills found just yet. Now Beyond coming back down to bottom lane, but if you look at the positioning of the lane... Okay, well, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Fly is jumping on in the flash forward from Crash. It is not going to land. The ult does go wide. You can see Beyond now coming back down to bottom, but sort of like what opening. Well, here we go again. That's going to be the Flash Exhaust and First Blood. We'll go over to the Rengar. A bit of a trade in mid two. Out comes the Cinder Ultimate, but Fly does survive. Getting it for MVP would make their engage just that much better, and getting it for Longju would help them get away from that aggressive engage of MVP. But hold that thought. Beyond is just going to face check that brush. And here comes Gorky to the Exhaust coming down, and that's going to be enough damage. Going on over. Flashing the stun is Fly, but Crash will go down to Ian's ultimate, so trading one for one there. We do have Beyond waiting in the wings. The stun does miss. And, oh man, the pack is forward as Crash is here as well. There's that teleport, but Ian will go down, trading one for one for now. But what is Crash gonna do? He looks for that last kill onto Beyond. Will he pick it up? Yes, he will. The double kill comes out, and now he will just dash over the wall. So nicely done there to pick up those two kills. And, oh wow, Crash is going to very aggressively just dash over the wall, and they have that curtain call as well. Max gets away somehow, and no missiles from Corky are going to be able to clean that up, so... Again, Crash made a, a pretty big mechanical blunder on Ian, almost actually taking Fly. At least the champions he's going to be fighting are very personal and so having that extra HP against them is going to be extremely effective. Uh, Ian, and not the best spot, and there comes the collateral damage. Enough damage to take out Ian, just sticking around too much by himself, 1v4. And not even the wild growth could keep him alive in that position. Hold that thought, the speed up onto Crash. They may want to get something. Nope, Deadly Flourish just maybe spell shield. To hold that thought, they're gonna turn it around onto Gorilla. Lots of damage coming out from him. Did have that little kitty cat, the Naokai. Oh, wow. They're going for it, and it, this is seen immediately, but you can see that not everybody on MVP is around here just yet. This is being burned down very fast. In comes the teleport. Ian trying to jump on it, and it's oh stolen by Syndra! Unbelievable! They get the Baron, and a huge mistake there from Longju, not able to smite that one, and a huge play from Ian. I think he's probably going to be able to pick up at least another turret here, but they're looking to fight. They're looking for it. Here comes Ad. They burst down Jin immediately, like he doesn't even exist. Bray was not expecting that one. And so they continue their push. Still 40 minutes, or rather 40 seconds, still left on that Baron buff. They're really tunneling all their focus here onto this mid-tier one turret, rather than fix their side lane. Look at the double stun that he gets over and over. Max has to be very careful. Redemption will come out. Lots of damage being put onto that turret. No stun this time around, but in goes Ed. The pop is alt, expression going deep as well. A lot of members of MVP very low. Ed maybe going a little bit too deep. Will be taken out. The flash forward from Fly, able to pick up a kill onto Lulu now. Curtain call, can he land it? Looks like Beyond is just in too much trouble anyway. That will be three kills given over to Longju. Longju is going to say, if you go for the Infernal Drake, we'll try to burst down the Baron. I don't yeah. know if that's a trade that they would like to handshake on because then it, they're really hard pressed to end the game before that Baron buff expires. Uh oh, there's no vision in there. Or actually, there is. And it's just going to jump on in at a huge knock of going on to both of those members. And Longju is just being routed now. Gorilla on the run. Big redemption comes down. Three kills. Prey. He's going to go down. Double kill for Syndra. Will it be three? No, double kill over to Maokai as well. And that's going to be a clean ace by MVP over Longju. Super clean ace by MVP. And that was some of the worst positioning I've seen come out of Longju. But one of the best capitalizations and punishes by MVP, and they're going to reward themselves with at least the inhibitor here. They might even be able to I press think, on for the game. They have yeah. the teleport available on Ed to lock up a minion. 
Looks like they're going to go for they're it. The minions the coming on in, and that's going to reduce the armor. And that's going to be one turret going down. Still four seconds on Gorilla. It's not going to be enough. That will be game number one going over to MVP after a huge ace. What will it be? It's going to be the Ari. He's going to bring it out again. Not feeling that. Not today. Oh! Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> well, things go from bad to worse. Crash wasn't tilted from his own gameplay last game. He's certainly going to be now. <laughs> he might be able to, he's still so close, though. Yeah. And as you were saying, they're yeah. so pushed up. It looks like he's going to come on in. The Flash exhaust once again out of Max. The Flash coming out of Beyond. Bray will Flash himself. And a bit of an exhaust used onto Beyond. And even though a lot of damage does come out and he does relieve a lot of pressure. So does Maha. Oh, big charm. There we go. Fly does have his flash available. Oh, the collateral damage and the last tick. But it's not enough damage. Fly surviving with barely any health was down to about 15 there. I don't think Expression knows that Ed is still here. He teched the brush with one of his missiles, but here we go. Coming on in. And even with the flash, he is going to be jumped on with the twisted advance. And now Expression in a heap of trouble. There he will go down. First blood goes over to beyond. And from the position he was at in lane, it was all too easy to just lock him up. Oh, here we go. The flash, Nether Grasp, and that should be enough damage. The charm comes out with the Hex Drinker, though. Will he survive? There is the package. And Fly gets away again, this time with 65 health. Make use of the Malzahar ultimate for immediate engagements and stuff. Oh, there's the flash engage, talking about engagements. Down comes the equalizer, but way too much damage. Beyond able to pick up another kill onto Expression. Looking for another pick potentially onto Expression here. He comes with the mobility boots and Nethergrass comes down. This time Beyond and Ed are around. They should be able to pick this one up, and there it goes. They're gonna give that one on over to Ed. While Maha was so put behind, is really good for them, so everything's setting up nicely. Lubov given over to Prey, but hold that thought. Engaging onto Max, who gets caught out. Crash getting very low. Ian attempting to do a bunch of damage on the left side, lands his charm, but also gets exhausted. But real, really, uh, here comes Beyond doing a ton of damage. Ed in the front line, able to get a huge ultimate off, and that's going to be two for two now. But a lot of members of Long do very, very low. Only Prey in the front line with that, with that red buff. <laughs> and. Uh, well, I mean, I was going to talk a bit more about that, but here comes Expression. He misses the first missile. Can he get the second one? Here comes Prey. He's got red buff. They might be able to pick this one up, and it looks like they will be able to. Nice bull is there. Picks up the kill. And Expression finally gets some kind of reward there after all of his deaths. Everyone on Longju wants to continue scaling, and okay. Whoa, okay. He catches Prey. The wild growth is not going to matter as he gets hit by another charm. And down he goes. So now this is 5v4, and now Grass gets caught out as well. And even though Max pays for this with his life, that's a nice couple of kills that MVP is able to pick up. You have to look at it like, what are they doing right now? They're so close to completing certain core items, getting the Trinity Force, getting the Infinity Edge on the Caitlyn, and they're too far up. And well, here we go again. Ed, he is going to push way, way deep. Lots of members of Longju get super low. So if they can pick someone, then they can easily pick up this tree. And they're gonna look for a pick here. Actually, the flash engaged by adding so much burst damage goes out onto Gorilla. And that was the pick I was talking about, even though they did not use that Nether Grasp yet. They could use it for the next engage. Just give it up. Just let it go. Listen to Elsa, guys. They don't want to <laughs> let it go, man. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you guys have seen Frozen before, right? We'll see if that turns up, uh, up onto them, and you can see Crash just immediately goes down. Ian is going to survive. Expression, he really wants to get a kill here, but both Beyond and Ian survive. And this is all for an Ocean Drake. This is what we were talking about. Fly gets super low. Prey doesn't have much mana, but he's doing a lot of damage. Huge burst damage comes out on the Fly. That's going to be the fourth kill. Now only Prey remains. No doubt he will go down as well. That's going to be the ace, and only Maha will die for it. <laughs> Why invest that much <laughs> Good question. into trying to stop it? And hold on, expression. Rengar ultimate available as well. Are they going to make this happen? There's Crash. They want to engage. Ian getting extremely low. OK, Max doesn't exist anymore. Ed going to try to 1v2 for now, but really just trying to escape with his life. 
And he's going to be hard pressed to do so, especially with Gorilla coming on in. And that's going to be Ad going down as well. So at least Longju is able to convert. And now it looks like they want to go towards Baron. They're definitely yeah, trying here. They have to be really careful right there. He can't let Beyond into the pit. He has to go for it. Oh, oh. Ian, huge amount of burst being sustained onto him. Beyond, he is going to go for it, but they stop damaging the Baron. That's not going to be enough. And there goes the Baron on over to Longju. Fly picks up a second kill, too. And all of a sudden, we turn right back around, and somehow now Longju is in control of this game. All of the members on Longju, with the exception of Fly, he does have that Oh, ball. look at that, the flash over the wall, and Fly, he doesn't have the Valkyrie anymore. He's going to go down. Nice bit of burst damage, and it looks like they want to go even further. Gorilla is going to be picked off here by the Twisted Advance, but once again, it looks like Ed just gets a little bit too far forward. A huge play with the Equalizer there to actually zone out the rest of the team. And that's going to be only a one-for-one -one trade. Long do they pick up the real prize here. <laughs> the Ocean Drake. For uh, a second there, I thought they were starting Baron, but not. Oh, oh, huge equalizer. Max forced to flash away, in fact. Beyond the top is going to dash the wall. Some of the champions on Longju don't even have mana. But MVP, they're going for one of those burst Baron scenarios, and this this ended horribly for Longzu. Yeah, but look at the ward there that Rumble is forced to teleport to. He also does not have his equalizer, so here we go. It's going to come down to it. The Nether Grasp, but this time Beyond is going to pick that up. A kill on Terengar as well, trying to go in there and get the steal, but oh, huge burst damage. They might be able to turn this one around. Look at Prey dishing out the damage. Expression flashing out in front. MVP now just routed out of this fight, just trying to get away. Fly going to dash the wall. Down goes Graves. Maha may survive. And it looks like Max will as well, just barely is going to be missed there by the Glitter Lance. Does get out, but Longju able to pick up three kills. And a minion Four wave actually, actually coming out of the Nexus enables them to tap it with Baron. But I don't think that Max alone is going to be able to defend this. And so they did remove the Baron from the map, but it's going to come at the cost of an inhibitor. Don't have teleport to lock up the turret. Oh, are they going for it? This is going to be interesting. They're going for at least one turret now. Gorilla's going to group up. It's only Max, but here, here comes Ian. He just respawned. And so the rest of Longju is going to be content with one Nexus turret for now. Meanwhile, yeah. up in top lane, yeah, those minions. Oh, Ed. Yeah, and the second one person rotates, they just poke the damage. And able to take out the turret now. Looks like Long doing a fantastic position to get a second inhibitor here. You can see Ian hanging around the bot side. And they're going to go for a teleport. This is kind of a, a desperation play. Can they actually convert from here? In comes Ed. Not able to twist it advance, though. They get the charm onto Gorilla, and he goes down, but immediately Max gets taken out. Expression very low, so is Crash. Down two of them will go, so they do pick up a couple of kills, but look at the Nexus. Looks like that second Nexus turret will go down, and now the Nexus is totally open and naked. Prey leading the charge, and he can really chunk that down, setting up the wall of traps, but here comes the engage from the left side uh, from Ed, but look at the amount of damage that he takes. He's forced to twist his advance away. Equalizer gonna zone him out, and he can't go out of the traps either. He's eating so much damage. There's the Guardian Angel popped. There's a trap right underneath them. They're gonna try to convert here onto Fly, and that they do. Lots of burst damage coming out here. They do land the Nether Grasp onto Expression, but with that Zonia's, he will be able to get out alive. And look at Prey so fearlessly in the front. Tons of damage chunking out the Graves, and that will finally be the inhibitor after some difficulty. And the Baron is started. Now MVP does know about it. Don't know really what they can do. Uh, trying to burst it down with Ian's damage, but not enough. Nice smite there by Crash. And it does look like that is going to be what they are doing. And never fully quite understand this, why you would Handshake going up against both the Baron and the Elder. They can now just go into a, a poke type scenario where the true damage is just too much and the minions are too much. Well, here comes the teleport from behind, and they actually yep. spot this. And now what are they going to do? They can't take the team fight now. Crash is still in the base alone. Crash really indecisive right there. I'm not sure if he actually could have shredded the Nexus in time. Looked like he wanted to go for it. And this is the problem that I'm talking about. You're facing Elder, 
And Baron enhanced minions. Yeah, really rough spot. It looks like they just want to make a stand. And nice bit of poke damage coming out from Max. But Redemption will just nullify that. Sapling basically deals no damage from Ed. Now they're escorting the final wave into the Nexus. This should be the final fight. They need to make a play. And Prey immediately just QSSs and does get wild growth. Lots of damage coming out onto Expression, but it's not going to be enough. Fly even surviving. Down goes the tree, finally. Crash going in for the cleanup, and that is going to be game number two going over to Longju. Quick decision making and decisiveness in their calls, and that's what this team comp is all about. So say something if they lost here. Ed might find himself. Uh, flash from Crash. He wants to go on into this, but look at Ian. He's coming on up and trying to do that burst damage. First blood goes over to Ed. Just barely able to survive. As that red buff, it hurts so much. He's doing so much damage, and Expression oh. getting incredibly low. He missed one auto attack, and that actually does save Expression's life. Crash now moving down to bottom lane. Maha and Max, pretty out of position. Ed does not have teleport. Expression coming Ooh. in for good measure. Yeah, they're going to try to make this work. Maha is in a huge amount of trouble, but there's the curtain call onto Max. Here comes Expression. This should be two, and down he goes. Longju able to pick up a couple of big kills. And oh, here's Fly as well. Trying to convert onto Beyond. He will try to flash the wall. There he is, but kind of get a bunch of members over. That's four of them. Still on the chase, trying to jump onto Beyond. He does land it, but uh, not quite enough damage. It looks like Beyond will just barely get away. Pretty big pickups for Longju. It's going to come, though, at the expense of top tier one turret in the exchange. So they cut those kills, but you can see that the gold lead still for MVP is just so huge. Oh, and hold that thought. I mean, Ed is looking for more damage. He's going to pay for it with his life, though. Expression tanky enough to survive. That is two kills given over to Longju. Skrilla oh, does have that nether grasp. They're going to make it work onto Max. Look at Maha taking the bullets in the front, though. Exhaust comes out. And there's the fourth one. Maha a little bit too brave. Fly does have the blue buff available, and here's that teleport that I was talking about. There it is coming on in. Ad does get rooted up, so does Beyond. And here's Expression. He wants something big, and Max takes a ton of damage. Still alive, though. Still oh. somehow alive, even after the Kha'Zix's damage. Fly should be able to pick up Maha here, just barely. And finally, they pick up a kill. Really just pincer. Not able to get into mid. Oh, Prey. Oh, boy. Oh, he wants that crit, too. And, well, look at the damage on the Prey. <laughs> That's why you got to be careful how close you get. A lot of their champions are extremely defensive. Look at that. Ian does no damage. He just goes in there and takes his own damage. And now Exhaust is going to be thrown down on the Crash, but they will be able to use that teleport to get out there. Nice job by the Rise. They might look to pick up Ed. There's the immediate QSS, but when you have this much lockdown on the side of Longju, curtain call for the follow-up, and uh, he's going to be forced to flash ahead. Not enough damage coming out of Gorilla. Either way, they do pick up the kill. Looks like maybe they were able to just get that little bit. I think in sense it either way. Ian is poking his head in. Now they see it. Uh, Jumping forward, and oh boy, okay. Oh, From behind okay. comes Maokai, the slam dunk. They're giving over to Prey on that gin. Now it's really just going to be up to Beyond with the magical steal. Can he pull it off? He's going to flash it. No, he will not get it. Crash will pick up the Baron, and that's just going to be everybody on MVP running away. Down goes Ed. Down goes Beyond. Max in a terrible spot. Ma desperately trying to do some damage. That he is, and he will get away for now. In which case, MVP has absolutely no response to that. Well, it seems like for now they're just going to rotate down with this wave that Expression was able to bring in. There is the curtain call. QSS used by Max, trying to eat some of those curtain call bullets. Where will the fourth one be? Just opening it up for that inhibitor. And does eat it. No QSS, but he's going to take a bit of damage. Does get away. And there's so many members of MVP low right now. Nobody on LZ Longju really getting all that low. They're going to pick up a second inhibitor as well and just back off. 
base is exposed right now for MVP. They know that they need to make something happen right now if they want to stay in this game. The problem is they just keep getting so chunked. Well, <laughs> so speaking of chunked, everybody is just going to disappear on this one. In comes Crash. Looks like he might go down, though. Just going to use that ultimate to get away. Oh, Ma does get Deadly Flourish. QSS will keep him alive for now. Max on the run. Crash, he's hunting. He wants it, and he will get it. Another kill onto Caitlyn, and I think that should just be the game. That's definitely going to be the game. With only Max remaining to defend the base and beyond, no one else coming up anytime soon. Nexus turns are going to be poised to fall. Longshu wants to fix their KDA a little bit. Get another kill for Crash, and that's going to be it for game number three. One kill to 17, and Longzu continue their streak of dominating everyone that is not SK Telecom, KT, or Samsung. Yeah. It's definitely a lot more aggression coming out for Kuro. That Whoa. guy is always here. He's always here for <laughs> that Kongu. That scared me. That he was hilarious. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh, hold that thought. Mowgli is going to get caught, but look at the rest of them. Road's getting Whoa. very, very low. And Punch taking a ton of damage. Uh, Kuro forced to flash away. Gugger, fla flash, flash something. All right, Gugger. Those are two <laughs> stacks on every champion. If you get a third one, it stuns <laughs> if you use your tongue lash, Cougar. I don't know if you're aware of that, but just letting you know. Hold the phone. Here comes Mowgli up to top. And I think Roach identifies that something's up here. Now he's spotted. And this might just be a solo kill, actually. The sapling is not going to hit him. And on the other side of the map, we're going to have a flash in from Kuro. Punch getting caught up by the arrow in first blood. And there we go. Mowgli actually going to pick up the second kill as well onto a retreating Roach. And Mowgli is not going to stick around, but will use the thrill of the hunt and the engage oh. right there to get three of them right in a row. And it's Gugger. Oh boy, everybody being taken out here. Just bad positioning and a fantastic engage from Afrika. The RNG. Cougar. Well, looks like he will be knocked up into the arrow. Does get that great health and the exhaust will save his life. They oh. turn it around. Oh, huge damage. Uh. Tushu will go down as well. <laughs> That's two kills given right back to Kongdu. Looks like actually Punch as well going edge of night for his first lethality item. On and the hunt gets used. Yeah, and the teleport from behind from Marin. He should be able to get on to Punch here. Flash away, but he still gets him. Trying to dash away, he's very, very low. Tushin the only damage over there, so he will survive. Gugger, meanwhile, did take a bunch of damage. Somehow, Roach is in the back here and knocks up a bunch of members. This is that dredge line. Meanwhile, the curtain call doing a bit of poke damage. But it doesn't look like Kongdu Monster has enough follow-up. And they were looking for a pick. They're not going to find one. Sometimes it's even difficult to do so against an Ash because of that hawk shot. Marin, though, has to be really careful here. It's going to be hooked on up, and you can see just how tanky he is. Punch desperately trying to do some damage, but he goes down below half, but he's not going to die. Kuro does get tagged by the curtain call. It's two shots. Will the fourth one Ooh. land? It will, so now he's down to half health. Oh, oh. <laughs> even more. Even more of a chunk, and Mowgli has to be really... Oh, oh no. boy. Okay, he's forced to flash away, but Edge is on the way. Will be forced to throw of the hunt. It looks like Marn will go back to fighting against his ally that also doesn't die. Davis avoids coming on in. The curtain call does slow down both Mowgli and Tushin. Nice big shot there on Tushin. Marun, Marin is just going to teleport on in. There's the arrow. It does go wide. Now they're focusing on to Roach. He's taking a bit of damage, forced to flash away. Now they don't have that frontline tank anymore, so they're all forced to back off, and no picks happen. Kongu instantly responding with a Baron attempt. I don't know if they're going to be able to pull this off. You can see they're not entirely committing to it as well. Interestingly enough, these are actually the scenarios where that Triple Ocean Drake, Double Ocean Drake, is really going to uh, play a big part. But hold on, Tushin decided he's not long for this world. He's going to get mid-tier 1 turret off his death. I don't think that Kongdu can take this much further, but if Roach lands a dredge line, no, not today. 
uh, if the stalemate goes on way too long. Kongdu can't, oh, the dreads line missed. That is so big. That was so close too. He like threaded the needle on that one. <laughs> they ruined, oh, oh, oh. Okay, I mean, they got Edge and Gugger in here and he lands the slow. Marin forced to ult, he tries to flash the deadly prayers, it's not enough. It's him against the world and he wins. <laughs> <laughs> Walks away. He just ran through the entire team of Kongdu. That's nice. Half HP. Now that Ocean Drake doing work. <laughs> Look at how fast he gets up. And he's Maokai too. Okay, they're going to blow more stuff on him. Will he actually die? It looks like he might this time. Nope. Not yet. Oh, oh he will. The so crit. Got him. And that's pretty big. But a lot of members of Kongdu did just go back. You can see Ryze was heading there. Ryze was still heading towards yeah, he, his base. He was walking back. Jet lag. Jet lag, okay, okay. Well, here we go. He got the curtain call, and a lot of members on Afrika now very low. And it looks like Roach is actually able to keep that Baron alive, but it looks like Afrika wants to re-engage here. Gugger getting caught out. He will go down. Lots of damage, though, and a big knock Look up. Look at Marin. Look at Marin. He's going so deep. This is the fight of the tanks against the rest of the other team. Marin does Ooh. die. And lots of Tushin there, and Roach is still alive. Yeah, just no one can actually get to Uses each other. Uses the Blasting Plants, he's going on in. That was a bit of a mistake. Probably figured the rest of his team would follow up. And will they be able to? The Flash Whoa. up the wall, the crit, the Kuro somehow survives. Oh, he's so low. Oh, death fire. Oh. oh, he goes down just barely. And here we go, Afrika. Oh. They're moving towards Elder Drake, but the rest of Kongdu is going to Baron. Looks like they may just give this one up and take Elder for it. Kongdu thinks that they've won, but little do they know they're about to fight a four elemental Drake Elder Dragon. See a bunch of back pings on Tamarin, and is this just going to be a repeat? I mean, it's him against the world once again. He's forced to flash. Tamarin has the flank. Here it comes. Teleport on in. Thrill of the Hunt used as well. Who will be the target? He gets onto Edge, who immediately QSS is out. And the big knock up onto Googer. They're going to try to turn this around. The curtain call just barely misses Tushin. Roach going to move on forward. They do knock up Marin here. He's getting extremely low. Not able to get that redemption, and down he goes. And all of a sudden, Kongdu Monster, with that Baron buff, able to push in here just towards the end. Primarily because Mowgli is also going tank. Just look at, he doesn't even really deal that much damage to punch. Yeah, this is really unfortunate, especially because the arrow missed too from way down range, but he's gonna come on in once again. Ends of Night is procced and punch, turns it around, Mowgli forced to flash away, and he just gets eaten up by Gugger. Is there a ward around Dragon that Marin can TP to? I don't really see one. Baron's going down right now. Mowgli not really in a... Uh, 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 um... Okay. Uh, that Baron was left with quite a lot of HP. I don't know what Kongdu is doing. Tushin can cast this all. Well, not gonna happen. What and is it looks going like on? Mowgli is gonna get it. Gugger going on in, and... What? Everybody on Kongdu way out of position now. Roach gonna go down. Uh... Well... Uh, <laughs> Very unfortunate series of events for Kongdu. Okay, and this Baron is actually gonna persist through into Elder. Oh no, punch. They better hope that Edge doesn't get caught out. They don't sniff him out, so Edge at least will- Oh, oh no! Oh, they find him! Oh, they get Edge too! That is so unfortunate. Tushin flashing the wall even just to make sure that he doesn't die. And look at the death timers right now, too. Oh. Looks like they want to get Soul. That's going to be Soul going down, too. He's not going to come up for 60 seconds. Is there a chance they could actually end the game here? I mean, we got Gugger coming up in 10, but everybody else is about um, 40 seconds. I think that they can end the game here. They have all five members here, except for, well, yeah. I think this is going to be it. Oh, they oh, use the arrow. The well, arrow. <laughs> goes wide. Gugger, yep. Really, what can Gugger do at this point? He's all alone just watching it happen. Gonna throw down Redemption, not gonna be enough. And that will be game number one, finally, going over to Afrika. Really in Seoul, so if you wanna be a glass cannon, I think now's the time to do it. Gugger getting very low, he gets rooted up here. Tushin's going deep, he uses that exhaust, force the flash away. So that's two summoners used by Tushin and no kills. Marin might potentially know that this is actually coming. Really nice setup by Roach. Grooming him for what's about to come. 
And we see Punch gonna get that aggro, gonna jump on in. That's first blood, giving a chase as well. Very nicely done. Here they come. Oh, Mowgli needs a shot a little bit early, but still they will come on in. There's the burst damage. Trying to get oh, one to Marin, no. and oh boy, Marin will go down. And they trade one for one. Nicely done by Roach. Oh. Gonna land the root, but Punch is able to repel up into the sky. Nice yeah. deadly flourish. Thunderlords from MF doing a nice bit of damage. And there's the arrow. It goes right on through. Mowgli will get that. Ton of damage comes out on the Dushin, and he lives. The crit, though, will go down onto Graves. He will pay for it with his life. Nice job targeting that plant. Will Soul go down? It doesn't look like it. One more shot. So close. And he lives. Somehow, some way, Soul is able to stay alive. Even closer to get the wave. Now. Oh, they're going to flash on in. Rhodes taking so much damage. Will he get away? The flash forward for Mowgli. And there is the kill. Pick up the kill onto Roach just now. Nice big pressure relief. Meanwhile, in bottom. Whoa. Um, Getting a little bit too close to that turret, taking aggro and being bopped up by the Zyra. Nice play there by Tushin. Tushin, it looks like he's identified this, putting down a ward. There's the arrow immediately going to cleanse away from that one is Edge. Punch does get the red buff. Mowgli now trying to get over the wall and chase, but Kongdu will be safe. Oh, that might be a one-way journey. He does not know what's about to happen. Oh, boy. Does get the voice of life pushing just a little bit away. And the knock up on to Punch, but he stays alive. And Dushin forced to get away. Roach now going to teleport on it. Roach has no mana. Why did he just <laughs> teleport? <laughs> you just see another replay from a few moments ago where you see the enchanted crystal arrow hits onto Cougar and he's locked up inside a turret range. Curtain call didn't really get to finish. Guru and Dushin now sitting around here. They may want to jump onto Edge if they can land the arrow and it lands. No cleanse this time around. It's on cooldown and down he goes. Yeah, very close game. And uh-oh, the root onto Soul, and that's gonna be oh. nearly the end of his life. He does get away with a nice flash. Lots. Flash and he'll use. Mm. Now Afrika setting their sights on bottom lane. Oh, that's actually really nice Whoa. all the time. <laughs> so much damage. Trying to get the follow-up kill onto Mowgli, but that was just a really fantastic play by, by Kongdu to, to keep this turret alive. Here we go, they are gonna start it. Kongdu right now, immediately teleporting in, and there's the arrow, and it hits Soul right in the front. A huge pickoff. <laughs> Down he goes, that's gonna be Infernal Drake giving over to the free. Meanwhile, Marin is posturing, looking for maybe something oh, to happen. They're here gonna find we go it. again, and Marin's right there. The arrow, the alley-oop. Samarin picking up that kill. A lot of these Ash Arrows are just relieving a lot of pressure on Afrika and enabling them to go places and get vision control that they otherwise wouldn't be able to. So, oh, oh punch. Almost went down there, but Mowgli couldn't quite find the kill. They're going to find themselves mid tier one turret here. And I feel like this is the stage of the game. Oh, oh. Roach. <laughs> Oh, here it is again, and he hits again! <laughs> Poor souls! Oh, man. <laughs> These enchanted crystal arrows are just driving a knife straight into the soul of Kongu monsters. Specifically into soul, because he's been hit three times now, I think. One time onto Gugger. They're ending his career. <laughs> and now, Roach. The flash on in as well. They really want this kill. And gonna use that gate to actually go the opposite way. Gonna really drag this one out. Jumping on into picking up some farm on the way. And <laughs> if Marin wasn't tilted before, well, this is pretty annoying to deal with as well. Wow. Okay, flashed. yeah, that's uh I don't know if that was actually worth it at the end of the day. There it is. Okay, they're gonna go for it here. And there is one ward, but there's a control ward in there, so they don't know when they start it. They're gonna have to check. They throw down another one. There's a 
we're seeing now. Here comes the arrow, and it hits Guger. No bullet time just yet, but there's the burst damage coming on out. Whoa, and oh, still from Punch. Really nicely done. And only Punch going down as well. And, I mean, that's exactly what Kongdu Monsters needed right now, but what is it really going to do for them? Well, actually, Roach is going to be able to pick up a kill here on the Kuro. Yeah. That's a very big pickup. Marin didn't have that flash available to him. He couldn't flash yeah. over the wall and lock up Punch. There is a teleport coming in from Roach, and immediately just going to turn on to Mowgli, and there you go. Getting a bit out of position. Now Marin on the run. Oh, really nice deadly flourish. Can they actually get this kill? Is the stun, the double kill going over to Roach. And here comes the massive push. Still two minutes left on this Baron. They're going to be able to at least get an inhibitor here. You can see that Afrika don't have a way to resist this. I'm wondering if Kongdu are going to literally gamble on trying to end the game here. They might they have a lot of minions. That's a huge wave. And Kuro, he gets locked up too. That's a couple of really costly deaths in a row now, and here comes that push into the turret. Still three members of Afrika down, and they burn these turrets so fast. Already 30 minutes into the game. Down oh. goes the massive Zyra ult, though. Roach, oh. oh, just barely gets away. Heal gonna help him run. Oh, the collateral damage takes out MF. And Roach still stays alive. Top lane doesn't need to be responded to yet. We did just see a ping go down onto it, but... Oh, man. there it is, voice of light, and the curtain call coming out, and the bullet time. They're saying, okay, get away from this turret, it's ours. And it did a nice amount of damage, but oh. the entire wave gets cleared out. A nice bit of counter poke comes out from Afrika. And they just showed Afrika okay, that I, everybody went uh, back. Now, I mean, they, they have the teleport, and here's the curtain call. And that is a lot oh of damage. Look at how much Tushin is being chunked down. And with no bar in here to eat any of those bullets, it really does a ton of damage to any of those members. Now look at the health of Mowgli, Kuro, Tushin. Everybody's below half. Marin, though, getting onto Guger. The arrow hits Punch, actually, in the back. There's the bullet oh! time. Oh, a huge big one right onto Guger to finish him off. Huge job by Kuro. Almost pays for it with his life. What can they really oh, do? They look at the first damage. That's huge. I mean, you have Kuro, Kramer, Mowgli, all these AD carries essentially just shredding that Elder Drake. Down it goes. He could use a blasting plan. Oh, He's no. just going to come from behind. Oh, this is it. The, the good old wraparound. Yeah. <laughs> Guger oh. taking a ton of damage. At least he does have QSS to get out of that one. Very peculiar posturing. You see the bottom wave going completely unresponded oh, to. Roach can't really hit anything. The oh, arrow, though. That's huge. QSS comes out, but he eats so much damage, and that really opens up the Baron here. Nice counter play. Misses the cocoon, but Shock Blast is going to bring down Mowgli to about half health. Here comes Marin, though, from the other side, not quite able to get the off the edge. Con. <laughs> the long wraparound all the way from the right side. They might be able to just immediately... Oh, look at the damage, even from the sapling, because that true damage burn. And you can see Punch, he's going to need to be a hero one more time if he's going to want to keep Kongdu in this game. Look at Tushin, he's running at him, though, and with him Tushin, and the true yep. damage... Oh, he might, even, he might even be able to kill him. He's really low. Down he goes, Baron. Oh! Oh, oh that's really big that he just lived. But... Can they actually make use of this? And they shot Blast off the Kramer at the back. They lock up Mowgli. And there goes the Enchanted Crystal Arrow wide. But take a look at the health bars of Kong the Monster. A couple of members very, very low. It's 30 seconds left on Baron. And that, oh, nice shot Blast on both Kuro and Tushin. You can see they're trying to clear that wave as much as possible. But look at the health on the turret. Oh. Here oh. comes Baron. Oh, boy. Roach. Roach. He doesn't oh, have he's the all QSS. their gold. Yeah. What are they going to do now? They exhaust the Maokai, but there's really just no hope. Tushin takes a lot of damage. Maokai is pretty low as well. But Guro able to pick up the kill. Marin, his GA is busted there. And actually picking up the Zyra on the left side. But here comes Afrika. It's four versus two right now. Waiting for another wave. The problem is with Roach going down, I, I realize I said he's all their gold, but what I mean by that is he's all their effect. 
difficult. He is their effective source of damage. Everyone else is utility. And now Kongdu are looking poised to fall here. Afrika turn their attention to the Nexus turrets. And it's probably going to be it yeah. unless Punch can somehow find a miracle. Gooners up an eight. No, are in two tanky. It doesn't matter. That's going to be it. GG. Game two going to Afrika.